University of Nairobi appear to be far from over. And now Professor Stephen Kiyama says he will continue running the institution as the vice chancellor from a temporary office after the acting VC, Professor Isaac Beche, stayed put even after Kiyama sent him on leave. The Employment and Labor Relations Court suspended the directive by Education CS Professor George Magoha to revoke Kiyama's appointment as the vice chancellor. Members of staff to meet here at the great court to play about the University of Nairobi and to reflect on the various issues at the University of Nairobi. This uh, the great court is what we call uh, in, our, in our language here the democratic space. And therefore when you hear this, you know that the, the staff are going here to think freely and they express themselves. This is the university we want for now and for the future. As a member of staff myself, because you know the act divides, the, the, describes who are members of staff in the university. That is, members of staff is management staff, academic staff, and the support staff. I am a member of staff in the University of Nairobi, and that is why I came to join them. And just to encourage that free spirit to think together and come with solutions because no one person has a, has a monopoly of knowledge on how things should be resolved at the university or even out there where you work. It is a good thing and I encourage them, I talk to them and I encourage them to encourage even other staff in the departments, in the faculties, in the colleges to be able to express themselves because that is the university of the future. The citizens out there are waiting for us to give the solution to their issues, to, to give opinions that will shape the policies of this country. And this beginning, this you see here, is a good beginning, it's a good sign that the academic staff have started to feel the freedom in the university, that they can meet freely and be able to express themselves and even bring those ideas to me and to other managers. And subsequently we, look, we see what is the solution now for this and for the other one. Uh, gathered before you this morning are members of staff in this university and uh, we are here because we have a crisis of bigger proportions in this institution. We have a leadership crisis occasioned by a court order that was issued the day before yesterday. And that order is in being interpreted in different ways. Uh, so last night, I'm told some goons broke into the office of the vice chancellor and sat there purporting to be the vice chancellor of this institution. Uh, we condemn such acts in the strongest terms. We do not imagine for a moment that the courts have the ability to give us a vice chancellor. Court orders do not manage institutions. Much as we respect the court order, the circumstances on the ground are such that the opinions of Senate, the opinion of staff unions, the opinion of student unions is such that we do not quite recognize what is going on. And the reason for that is because the process of determination of who becomes the vice chancellor is clearly stipulated in law. And that process, as presented by government agencies, was not complete. We still hold that position. Well, that report brings us to a fast break, break on News Desk. But uh, do stay with us. Still more news, including sports news, on the other side. Do stay with us.